and the French language was adopted as the second official language in Nigeria and made compulsory in schools after the declaration of the then head of state, late General Sani Abacha. With this policy, Nigerians are yet to fully take to learn in French as a second language. Moyo Thomas files this report on learning the French language. The Organization of African Union in Addis Ababa decided in 1961 that the ministers of education of West African countries should adopt French as an official language. Nigeria adopted French as a second official language, though the policy has not been adequately implemented. The policy was further reinforced following his reenactment in 1998 by former head of state, General Sani Abacha. Nigerians believe the policy is very good for the country. It should be more there should be emphasis on specific people who, who will be needed for maybe translation or who will be needed for some diplomatic uh, assignments. It, it, it causes no harm learning, learning French language. We can, I've seen people who speak up to seven languages. It's not, it's not a waste. You never can tell. Maybe it could be useful sometime. It's also an international language, like English language. I think uh, it's ideal that we should encourage it because uh, anyone that studies uh, French and English language will be relevant in the international community. So it's, it should be encouraged. At least for the sake of uh, ECOWAS, so that you know we are doing things together, the Francophone and then the Anglophone. So that one will facilitate trade and then of course make things to work well, especially in this global age. So French will be encouraged and it will enhance international relations. To ensure realization, the French Embassy has made efforts to help promote French language learning in Nigeria through its language and cultural center. The ambassador believes the ability of Nigerians to speak French will enable her to develop better relations with neighboring countries. And for you, Nigerian, I think it will be very useful because you are surrounded by French-speaking countries. So if you speak French, you will be more able to communicate with Benin, Niger, Cameroon, they're all French-speaking countries. So I think there's a common interest. The French Institute in Abuja teaches French language to Nigerians. Denisa Onoise, a guidance and counseling student in one of Nigeria's tertiary institutions, is also a student of the institute. She tells me the story of her journey to learning French. So growing up, I knew I was still going to, one way or the other, I was still going to come about learning French. And as a young child, my mom would always buy the audio, encouraging me to listen to it. So after my diploma, while waiting for admission, my dad insisted I should use the time efficiently and the only idea was coming to learn the French. So once I'm on holidays, I come for the French classes. Très bien. Rotimi Ajayi lectures at the institute. He studied French from a Nigerian university too. He believes his knowledge of the language has opened more doors for him. Um, I think what, normally what it does is it connects you and then it opens doors for you, right? Um, I've had the experience of working with top political leaders in this country as a result of me being able to speak the language. So yeah, it's, it could be a very, very useful tool for you um, when it is you need business connections and then even political connections. Dimitri Verger. Coordinator of Studies for the Institute explained that programs and time slots has been made convenient for all to ensure inclusiveness. Well, first of all, as I said, we provide uh, different type of uh, French classes with different timetables, different goals as well. If they want to learn French uh, for business related reasons, we have in different manuals and different material for them to actually learn the French they want to learn. Beyond just opening the French institutes across the country to enable Nigerians learn French, the embassy also partners with schools in Lagos and Abuja to ensure teaching is done appropriately. What we do is we also have a network of partner schools, uh, mostly in Lagos and Abuja, in Lagos with the Alliance Française of Lagos and Abuja with us, the Institut Français. Uh, so we go to different schools and we actually see how French is taught there. And according to some standards we have, having enough French classes per, per, uh, per week, uh, having good teachers, having good material, using video and audio, uh, taking exams that we rely on, the DELF exams that we take at the Institute, and uh, we can actually build partnerships. Meaning I will conduct myself a training for teachers to actually learn how to teach French 
uh, to Nigerian students. Uh, we should also uh, make them having like a, a sign saying in partnership with the French Institute, and we're just like having a good follow-up on them. The advantages of learning French is enormous. Beyond being bilingual, it can help build an international career path. Set fini. Au revoir. I have started building my French vocabulary. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.